Greetings everyone, now I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Vanilla, Vanilla Hoi 4, playing as United Balkan Federation, which we first began as Bulgaria. No, this is not where we left off, but it's just like 69 days ahead. All that's really happened is I've struggled trying to break into Austria and take, we did, did, did take Vienna, but we must now do a national focus. The last one we had done, I can't remember which one we just did. I think it was over here. Ooh, it wasn't Prussia, the Balkans, it might have been a Black Sea Fleet. That's the one we just did. So, improved coastal defenses, reinforced naval bases. I like that extra infrastructure in a GNC fleet. Looks pretty darn lengthy. Modify the Varna Naval Dockyard before we get more ship repair speed, if we choose that one. Naval research speed, naval equipment refitting speed. Add a naval base, building slot, and naval dockyard to every state with a dockyard in the Aegean Sea. Which is two, which is okay. A powerful Bulgarian navy, battleships, and naval doctrine versus strike from the seas, marine, and transports. Oh, more trade convoy production, better refitting speed, and ship repair speed plus 20%. That would not be bad. National submarine production, I like that as well. What do we want? That's a good thing. What do we want? I do want supremacy on the Bosporus eventually, because I do want to do dominance in the Black Sea. It's a claim on any state along the Black Sea coast, not controlled by an ally or a subject. Against the Soviet Union, the Turks, Romanians, so that's kind of okay. Dominance in the Adriatic. That stuff can be kind of thought of as later, because we are at war with the Allies, so we'll see what happens. Let's go and do this one. Let's get some more mineral extraction. The Rodops are rich in minerals such as chromite, iron ore, zinc, and lead, and our experts are optimistic that a proper prospecting of the area can lead to the discovery of new deposits. Great. So right now, we are struggling a little bit, especially over right here, which is not ideal. It looks like we're probably not going to be able to win here, which is, you know, it is what it is. And actually, you know what? Since someone said yesterday, he couldn't remember if it was shift or control, so I'm going to press this, shift click, and now we're one solid front, which is actually probably a really, really good thing for us. Uh, France. Are you not with the Italians? Huh. No, they're in the Allies. They did beat up the Spanish, so it is what it is. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we do a 40 combo with motorized divisions. Hopefully we can break into here. I kind of doubt it right now, but we'll see what happens. 71. Can these guys break through Centralist Australia to clear one Australia? Cool. It doesn't look like we'll be able to. Quite disappointing because, of course, fighting the mountains is a really bad idea, but whatever. And, okay. Imperial Civil War in Australia. Just like the one in Canada. Canada's killing each other, which is kind of nuts. I really want America in our alliance, so we're going to try to improve relations some more. We get 1.23 a day, which is not bad. Italy has joined the British Empire. Okay, but then, come on. I can invite Australia? I don't know if I really want to do that, but at this point, I'll throw in anyone who wants to join our faction. Pretty much so. Yeah. Cool. At this point, I want to say I want to beat up the Poles, because they've lost quite a bit of territory. But, uh, I don't know. This is not going great. We do have quite a bit of political power, though. Special projects. Nothing there. Political actions. We could raise cons our stability. We are on service by requirement, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Bomber interception. Anti-sub stuff. That stuff is okay. Over here, oh, we only have one. We need to do an G and C fleet, because I don't want to get this guy, use these guys too much. I like the ship repair speed, but it's only 5% more. Anything that we could use here, we need to complete quite a few focuses. And for this one, we need to complete a, quite a few... Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, we can't use anything. Sub-detection is 10%. Just do this one so we can find enemies more easily in the air. And we have a lot of subs going on, which is great. And we do have some horses, which we're using for garrisons as well. As little garrisons for now. So, we'll see what happens. I would love to do a general attack. Just don't think it would be possible right now. Only have four divisions here. Uh, I need more planes, too. We need a lot more factories. We're building stuff up here. Plane-wise, yeah, we need more. We need more rubber as well. We do definitely need to build more refineries, but we'll see what happens. Are you sure you can't win here? Oh, I'd love the airbase. I'd love it. Please. Force the attack, if you can. Please. You should... Well, actually, we might not be able to win the war. Uh, we probably don't... Yeah, we definitely do not have air superiority. Oh, my goodness. That is a lot of enemy planes. We only have 200, which is not ideal. Throw in some more soldiers there. Mm -hmm. Making some armored cars, which is kind of nice. Actually, for you guys. Swap that out. 
with armored cars. Do we have enough for that? No, we don't. So let's not do that yet, because we are using this for garrisons as well as resistance. Oh, we actually could maybe win here. Mechanized equipment make us, makes us a little harder, which is a good thing. Let's grab a little bit more land at attack. That would be probably pretty bueno to you. We, I think we do have shock and awe, which is our superior firepower doctrine. Okay, cool. cool. We actually won. Wow. We actually won somewhere. Good for us. Is anyone going to fill in here? Hopefully, eventually. We're not really getting attacked anywhere else. And, of course, we still have the Benelux on our side and doing okay. And that was one comment from yesterday saying that as soon as Bel not Belgium, but the Luxembourgish folks joined our faction, it was all over for Germany. So they're absolutely right. And Benelux is getting invaded, which is not ideal. Oh, don't do they have level 10 forts around here? Oh, they might not. Oh, good. This is Upper Austria, so that's good. You guys better hold. Come on. No! You gave him a port? No! Don't lose, guys. Yeah, not a lot to lose. Yeah, it looks like we might have to capitulate the poles first. I don't know. This is looking not too good. Resistance is going up here for Italy, which is kind of nice, but... There's really not a lot of good areas where we could attack. There's really not. Support the attack. Take Karas, if we can. 70. Well, it's slowly going up, which is kind of nice, even though they do have air superiority. What we might consider making is... Okay, mechanized. That'd be kind of cool. Anti-air? Yeah, we might just consider making some anti-air. That might be pretty good to do. And we're doing quite a good amount of damage, even though we are getting shot down, shot up quite a bit, but... Nice. Get him in there. We took it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, we lost it. It's all right. The battle for Graz is on. Immediately beat them up. But as soon as we get in there, we get beaten up ourselves. Don't lose it. Oh, you both lost. Come on, man. Ah, there we go. We've got it. All right. You guys are still moving around, maybe? No, you're not. Good. Everyone attack right there. Help the attack. Help the attack. Because casualty-wise, Italy's lost quite a few guys. We've lost 86,000. So, and the Brits, we've not done too much to them, actually. Huh. Regarding these ones, though, we've cut off 287,000. So, we'll see what happens. Hey, doing okay so far. Doing okay. Hey, the Benelux actually fixed her... Oh, shnikes. I'm glad I looked down here. God dang, pieces of garbage. Use more subs, actually. If that's the case, you guys don't work on this area, because... Ooh, I like... Oh, pretty good, like Kuzu, because we do have a carrier here, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, wait. I don't want you to do that. I want you to come over here. Because you're going to stay right there. I want all of you guys to raid this area, too. Because this guy is learning. He's definitely learning how to be a better admiral. Not a general, but an admiral. Got a motorized down here. Help out. Get him out of here. If we can take the port, it's all over for him. Was Trias surrounded? No, they're not. But it's looking like it's not very good. And some of you guys were super fast. God, I love motorized when they're 40 combat, but nice. They just wasted so much. There we go. Get those convoys, sink them and stink them. Just go ahead. Just move in. Nice. 40 combat width. Beautiful. Overrun them. Get rid of them. Get rid of their ilk. Oh, yeah. This is why it's so important to get garrisons. There's so many little islands here. Beautiful. Man, I love motorized. Alright, next up. Fighting through mountains really sucks. Um, where do we go? Actually, you guys could probably do that. 14? No, 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 no. You wonder why we're not doing so well. Come on, guys. The poles are looking disastrously weak right here. How have you not been able to break through yet? They're literally, they're literally, they literally died there. Holy crap. That's awesome. Yep. Click shift. Thank you to whoever told me about that before. Thank you very much. Oh boy. Sub. Yeah, yeah. One sub versus everyone here. Probably not going to make it. Cool. You guys. Come over here. We'll fight through Austria if we have to. Canada. Sure, why not? Garrison's make us a little harder. 
Well, we can afford that. Why not? All they cost are just more, a little bit more steel, which is fine with me. Cool. More refineries. So we get more rubber. Mineral extraction? Great. Uranium prospecting? Ooh. Buhovo uranium mines. Nuclear research speed, production, and nuclear construction speed. Uranium concession agreement. Granting bonuses to Bulgarian faction leader major, major ally. Requires us to be in a faction? Yeah, why not? Uranium is a, ex becoming an extremely valuable resource for creating powerful and devastating new weapons, and we have discovered potentially rich deposits in Buhovo. We must survey the area and what, consider whether it would be more beneficial for us to make use of the resource ourselves or to grant exploitation rights to our allies. Well, we are in... The, we do lead our own faction, so we'll see what happens. I do want to make sure we get more subs. Coastal defense ships. Uh, you're a cruiser, huh? Oh boy, that does not look good. That does not look ideal. We could make a heavy cruiser, but I don't think heavy cruisers are just really worth it. Coastal defense ships. I would have carriers and these cruisers going, so. I think we'll be okay. Alright, motorized. Ready to go? Let's do it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What happened to their soldiers? Huh. Everyone together now. Together for victory. Yes, I will have an honor of with these guys since the common will be the last group we do take out, so. Good. Now they say we might be able to do just a full scale attack. What is going on over here? Oh, you spawned divisions in Cone. Cool. Well, good for you. Base strike. Great. Get some more carrier organization. That'll be good for our guys. Oh, hello. You guys landed in Turkey, huh? We must have lost more subs. Honduras has joined the war against us. Well, darn. Now we have to fight the Hondurans. Wow. Come on, put down that... Superior firepower, because we did make these guys 40 combat width. We're still mobilizing a little bit, which is great. Beautiful. We could try general attack. It's probably not going to go very well, though. I just imagine it can't. Since it's 43, I'm going to get more subs. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, well, I think it's a subby time. All right, you know what they say we can try? Let's try it. And immediately stop it once it's done. Oh, what's going on down here? It's not looking great. Especially you guys right here. Fighting in the hill is just a bad idea, period. Other places seem to be doing okay, though. You guys should be able to break through there, right? Come on, come on, come on. If anything, you just destroy their defenses as much as possible. Case, read it the front line because the Soviets keep moving up, which is fine with me, but still. Can you guys actually get right here? Come on, you guys can do it. They have a little bit more organization than us, a little bit more anti air than us. So be it. Oh, we actually lost a convoy. Yeah, yeah, don't trade through there. Crazies. Looks like we actually got this. Losses. Italy. Not enough from us. Not nearly enough losses. Poland. They're about to capitulate, which is pretty good. Do we get some territory here? We might have. Oh, crap. Look at this. Yeah, they don't like it when I'm raiding their convoys. That's okay with me, though. We're only five subs, so... Better watch out. Has he learned anything? Oh, drill master, uh, sub attack. Yeah, that's not really the guy we need you to do that. This guy though is level five already. It says you could do it again. I don't know if I want to really risk that though. Mm, try it, and immediately stop when you're done. Send in the motorized as well. That could play quite a pivotal role in what we need. Do we sink some more convoys? Yes, we did. Good. Slowly, we're grabbing more and more territory, which is nice. Maybe up, up here, but, you know, whatever.
Nice. Disperse Industry 5. We could probably use some more extraction, especially for the rubber. Or, we can come over here. And then I'll grab some anti-air stuff, probably. Nice. Help them out. Push them back some more. That'll be good. Oh, man. They really don't like us here, huh? Well, that's okay. They don't have to like us. 19. Not bad. Oh, boy. That's a big old fleet. Not gonna lie. Big old fleet. Uh, we don't have that many naval bombers. 100. These guys aren't that great, but I'll still use them for this. And we have 100 fighter 2, so just in case we find their enemy fleet, let's do this as well. Cool. You know what? This is only one. I don't want to do this one. I really don't. Production cost. We can make it faster. The range goes down and the carrier deck size goes down. That's just not worth it. Oh, why does it hurt me so much? Ooh. More war support? Oh, let's... We don't really need that one either. We'll just do it anyways, because we can. There you go. Make three things of military factors. We could probably use them. Hey, convoy goes bye-bye. Cool. Try it again. Try it again. With them. Because they're slowly losing. I can't imagine the poles that can hold on for that much... Okay, they can't probably hold on for that much longer. Italy has solved plenty of manpower. And the French do not. So, if we... Really, if we fight the Poles, they won't be able to stand up to us for that long, hopefully. Oh, the People's Republic of Spain is gone, though. That's not good. Okay, we're breaking into Italy. Okay, then. You know what? I'm going to convert you guys. Get down here. If you can go fast enough, you can get all the way to Palermo, probably. Keep an eye out for invasions at all times. Oh, look at that lag. Woof. Help them out. You guys, anything here? Nope. happening. Hey, look at that! Our subs actually killed some planes! Wow! Oh boy, there's the Italian Navy. Ooh, we lost a couple planes. That makes sense, though. The able bomb's looking a little better. We even have enough steel now. Wow. Get up two more because we can lower this by two. That'd be probably fine. Oh, it's costing us probably so many guys to do this. Yeah, it definitely is. But, we are pushing through pretty nicely. Maybe not through Poland, but that's okay. Because the Poles... I just can't imagine the Poles keeping this up at all. They have to be out. They have to absolutely be out of stuff. They're out of manpower. And while I don't want to kill off my own manpower... Because manpower is very, very precious. I think we're doing okay. Italy, how are you... You already saw that they're doing okay as well. Strength-wise, hopefully we can smash them through very, very quickly. You gotta win, come on. I mean, Austria is falling apart, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Uranium prospecting, good. Ooh, I probably want to go down here, though. Military factories are not bad. Let's do a GNC fleet next. Now that we have a presence in the Aegean, we must seek total dominance over it. To achieve this, we cannot rely only on destroyers and submarines. We need a larger tonnage of ships in our fleets. Very good. War propaganda would be okay. War bonds, that actually hurts our war support, which is fine. Let's go and do that. And against Poland. Because we don't like the Poles right now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Defend until the last man. Keep him in place. Henry VI claims the throne of Orleanus, France. Wow, I've not seen you ever. Holy cow. Alright. Gonna hold on for now. I'm taking you off. You gotta come over here. You cannot give up. Do not give in. Oh, they're dying. You're dying. They're dying. You can. You guys can hold. Find their convoys. Sink them and stink them. Kill all these god dang Italians. How are they winning? Because they have their superiority, Mr. Mocha Lover. That's why. You are not going to win here. I swear to God, you are not going to win. I will. I am breaking into Italy now. That's great. Smash the Italians. Even the Poles are doing a good amount of damage to us, too. Oh, we made an encirclement here. Great. But no one seems to want to take it. Very odd. 
Very peculiar. Hey, look! Even the Belgians are pushing out now. Great! Oh, thank God for the Benelux. This is weird. That's a very weird thing to say. We can't even... We can't push with Poland, though. Which I don't agree with at all. Holy cow. What's going on? Just stop attacking. Stop wasting lives. Stop wasting equipment. Oh, what the heck happened over here? How did you break over here? I don't think there's a way for us to rescue them, though. We could try, but... Pretty gosh darn desperate, I'd have to say so myself. Oh, they're fighting over there too. Hey, do we win? Not yet. Oh god, come on. We only have four subs left. Find their ships. Find them and sink them. Oh, we got that tile over there. Get back. You know what? Go over here to go over here. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Deploy these guys immediately. Nice. Okay, maybe we need some more of this. We definitely need more guns now. And definitely more of this. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Carrier Primacy, great. Grab some more. Carrier Task Forces. Oh, look at that. We lost two planes in exchange for five ships. Not bad. Oh, boy. Retreat, 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 retreat. They're coming in. Don't lose a kid. No, we lost a god dang carrier. God, I hate the British. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? Yeah, go to hell, Britain. Go straight to hell, man. You are going to die, die, die by the time I'm done here. I'm gonna Eventually, we're just going to have to glass all of Britain then. Oh, my goodness. Kill off these god darn Italians. Full Everyone's going to attack. Full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. Actually, oh god, that's not good over here. 27. Why are you wasting time over there? Uh, let's see. You guys. I'm pulling you off. You guys are over here. Good luck with this. Go full ahead. I'm going to have you guys station yourselves down here to help out. Because the Italians are going to die. Yeah, you're not going to be able to break us here now. There's no way. Your boys are going to starve just like you killed off my ships. Oh, God, they just destroyed the entire task force. God dang it. Go home. Yeah, we lost those ships. Screw the British. Come on, just... Just garbage. What a bunch of BS. Uh, fighter 2s. Let's pull you out, get you over here going. And anything else? Carrier fighters could be okay. They have planes, you scramble them. You guys do the same thing. You find them, you sink them. You find anything down here that's not part of our faction, just destroy them completely. Absolute destruction. Uh, that's 43... We got that. That's good. We could get some nuclear stuff. Grab some of this. Heart attack and piercing would be pretty beneficial. And they sunk some Turkish stuff. Wow. Wow. Come on. Kill these guys off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. I mean, this is definitely a sacrifice. We sunk. We lost our planes or our ships, really. In exchange for the death of basically Italy, which. I guess it was okay, but I'd rather not lose stuff. I'm s I try to be so careful with my ships. Oh, hello. Let's get another light cruiser, I guess. Oh my god, why did I deploy them there? Let's go find Athens or Attica. Hmm, we need more steel. I don't really want to import that much more, but we have to. That'll help out, hopefully. 52, no. We're gonna go with two of these in now. That should help out. June 45, that's better. Screw you, British soldiers. Pieces of crap. You're gonna die on these beaches. Never gonna go home. Now, terminate with extreme prejudice. Don't even take that. Just do that. Hey, look at that. Good. 
So now what are we missing? We are missing not that many stuff. We need more carrier CVs. Or CV bombers. Which is fine. We can do that. Get a few more of those guys going. We need some more motorized. We need just more ships and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Bomb them? Good. Bomb their pieces of crap ships. <laughs> you can tell I'm not very happy with the Italians or the Brits now, so. Oh, it's only 36 days, and maybe we we'll get some more anti air. We've even broken into France. Look at that. You know what? Belgium's going to get very large by the time we're done here. An incredibly large Benelux, we'll say. Because I don't know what's going on with the Poles. Like, what are they up to? What have they been eating which can just destroy our attack? You don't got any defense boast to your, on your core territory, but you're still, they're still holding out somehow, some way. So strongly. This makes no sense. This literally makes no sense. But then you look at this and you're like, oh, it makes a lot of sense. Don't have enough fighters. Hmm. The air force can make or break you. Really good or bad. Another division, that's good. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Nice, six more subs sunk. That's good. Good stuff. This is so sad. So sad. Okay, there goes Communist China. Well, goodbye, China. What areas are we not building up that have steel? I mean, obviously we'll build those up eventually. All these areas up as well. There we go. We've got the Italians on the run. Kill them off. Good. Cool. And I'm going to actually send you guys right over here. And you're going to push as hard as hell to get all the way to Spain. Oh, man. We're going to need a lot more divisions. Oh boy, we're gonna need a lot more. Get you on high. A lot more armored cars. There you go. Uh, increase you by that much. Are we really missing guns? Not really, no. We got more than enough guns. Wow. Then why do they lie to me? Saying that they do not have enough. Why do you lie? Keep them out if we can, because we gotta get those guys done. Rubber processing is great. Grab some more extraction first. And then the next one, I promise, we'll probably hopefully get uh, anti air, because anti air just chews our butts up. Oof. The Soviets are so pathetic. How have we done better? Or how's the Netherlands done better than the Soviet Union? I guess the world will never know. Those Dutch boys, they fight pretty harshly. Oh, look at this. This is looking good now. Oh, God. Where are we getting attacked? Northern South America. Ah. Uh -huh. Benelux, of course. They love invading up there. Up here. I'm going to send you guys up here. To hell with the poles. Oh, this is looking much better. You guys can. Please attack. Kill them all off. Can't still auto deploy soldiers. We're still mobilizing a little bit more. Awesome, awesome. We've got six ships. Whew. This has been an incredibly costly war. Half a million Balkan soldiers have died. Yeah, I don't care how many men the Soviets have, or how many Soviets have killed off the Poles. That's just BS to me, man. I swear. Then we got to invade the British Empire, which I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but. Okay, that finally happened. Finally, thank God it happened. With almost no thanks to the Soviets. I mean, sure, they took it a lot of territory, but that doesn't matter. You gotta go, 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 go. Now we gotta really ramp up production of naval bombers. Really ramp them up. And planes. Hey, basic torpedoes are nice. Grab some subs, because we really need to make some. And I know I said, I said next time we'll get the next thing. After this advanced artillery, we'll get some anti air, I promise. Then again, I usually break my promises. Cool. A powerful Bulgarian Navy, battleship, and naval doctrines. 
Marines. I think this one's probably better to do. Modern tactics is look okay. We must focus on building capital ships that provide our fleets with the firepower that they currently lack. We may not have the largest navy, but if we can concentrate our efforts, we may end up in a position to contest the dominance overseas, even against major naval powers. Hopefully. So now, how does this one look? Still not great. <laughs> but, I guess we have to. Come on, give up. Give up. The war is over for you on the continent. There's no way you can come back from this. I'll have you guys go that way. There you go. Oh, we actually still have here, huh? Nice. Let him starve. There we go. And I said I'd do it, so let's do it. Anti-air. Hey, we're going back. Wow, we actually sunk a destroyer. Nice. Level 88. Everyone's still doing well. Good, good, good. Help the Turks beat him up. Yeah, I don't care. You, you just keep attacking. It does not matter right now at all. You force the attack, kill them off. Kill every single one of these pieces of garbage off. Good, cut them off. No more supplies for you. And we gotta do this. I gotta get that research speed, right? To get more naval research speed, better ship repair, better naval equipment refitting speed. We get better production costs, but man, that deck size minus 20% really is just not worth it, man. But that's the only one we have, which really sucks. I mean, it makes sense, you know. Oh, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That would be stupid. Let's focus on our line right here. And just go to town on these guys, because the southern fr front is doing amazing. Also, I forgot. Oh, hello! When did you flip to the Soviet Union? Did you... Did they navally invade? Wow. Let's raise our relations with them again, maybe? Protected towards Honduras. I mean, that's... Why does that matter? Base reluctance? We have, they, we have a war that they may be drawn into, but the U.S. has a protective stance towards Honduras. I don't care about Honduras. I'm not... I guess we might be fighting them, but I'm not the one trying to kill them. You see me on the continent? I don't think so. Come on, France, die. You have up to 46 divisions, just die already. He's level 4 yet? No, he's barely learning though. There you go, do that. We'll take that area off. Nice, there we go. Keep sinking subs, keep sinking stuff. Find some convoys we can kill off too. 18 of these guys. Just deploy them immediately. I need them out right now. Not bad. Doing okay-ish. Hey, Spain's coming back too. And they'll have to kill them off eventually as well. We're probably done mobilizing. Oh, we're getting close. Getting close. Look at this. Please kill them off. Please. Give them no peace. Ah, they didn't give you peace. They, we're going to give them no peace as well. All the way to Brest. All the way. Alright, light tanks. How are we looking? We got... Oh my gosh, this looks like a god-awful light tank division. I'm not even sure we're using light tanks. We got plenty of motorized, though. And eh, maybe not mechanized. Motorized is probably good for now. Uh, who would use mechanized with light tanks? That'd be kind of... Uh, a bit unusual, I would say. But that's just me. There we go. Engineers, artillery, good stuffs. All of you guys, 40s, go, go, go. Paratrooper, no. I think we'll be okay. Should be okay with that stuff. No upgrades, yep. Hey, look at that. Nice. Destroy everything they've got. Just shred them. Yeah, look how weak they are. They're so weak. That's so good. That's a case. We probably should start destroying some of the fleet in the English Channel because someone's going to have to invade them. Whether me or us. Fascist influence. Oh, yeah. I think Italy is influencing our government. Do we have enough naval bombers? Ooh, yeah, we have a little bit. That's not bad. 
find the British fleet and just destroy their little butts. Not much is going on there. That's fine. You guys come over here and do that. How's the air doctrine? We are not doing it at all. Uh, close air support or tactical bombers? We're not. Do we even choose which way we're going? Naval bombers? Nah. Let's go with cast just because we already have it one level done. So nice. We're destroying what's left of the navy there, which is good. Ooh. Uranium concession agreements with the Kingdom of the Netherlands. We cannot make the most of our uranium deposits in our soil and would be much more beneficial not only for us, but also for Dutch allies who sign a contract granting them exploitation rights in exchange for useful minerals or materials and products for domestic industry and agriculture? Huh. That's not worth it. I want them for myself. Are there any special projects? Anything else? No. America, please join the war with honor side. We are the, we're literally a democracy. Oh boy. Oh, the convoys don't want to die. At this point, just come over here. And just smash them to bits. There you go. Um. What? They declared war on who? The Russian Federation has spawned. This is very weird. Fascist or communist. Okay. This is very unusual, I would say, but hey, that's just me. Cool, cool. Ah, another destroyer sunk. Great. Kill every single one of them off. At this point, we might as well just go to war with Switzerland, right? Oh, we can't. Oh, we're, we're a democracy, that's right. Hey, we got rid of France, that's good. Generate... I generated world tension? Are you kidding me, man? You see the war we're trying to fight here? I don't know about that. I'm just hoping that they do not join the Allies, because they are fascists, so... Oh, we got a carrier back. That's so good. Just stay there. Stay there for now. It's not a bad carrier either, but we got we got to get enough screens up. Do whatever we need to here. Oh god, leaving it up to these guys to do this stuff is not a good idea. Nice. Good. Hey, at least we got a carrier back, though. Powerful Bulgarian Navy. I've wanted to do this one for a while, so... Balkan Research Cooperation. We must develop a cooperation program that allows scientists from the different countries of our confederation to share their discoveries and foster new technological advances. In which we get the Balkans, not Balkans, we all, technically we are most of the Balkans, as well as Benelux to help us research more stuff. Maybe we'll find some good stuff, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get a boost to anti-air stuff, hopefully, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We got enough armored cars, do this. Do we have enough? Yeah, barely. Barely, barely, ba 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 barely. More fuel, more rubber, never enough. Go three at a time. Dockyards, let's boost, us, boost ourselves up too. Wow, Greece is not looking really well put together yet. Need more roads. Oh, sink them, sink these pieces of garbage. Cool, cool. Come on, take them out. Lost a naval bomber, makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah. Still need more rubber. Ooh. Sweden, thank you. Goodbye. Soviet Union, we're buying so much from you. Wow, if that's the case, now we can buy hopefully no more from anybody. Okay, then. Early sub ones, go to sub twos. Beautiful. Said, uh, so we have all these factories, just make our own rubber. Seriously, at this point. We have so many lines three, four, five, six, seven, eight full lines, and then some, making more, 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 more. Beautiful. Because fuel-wise, we're doing okay-ish. Not great, but okay-ish. Put more planes here. Really beat the living crap out of them. Naval Bomber 2s. We should probably start thinking about getting Naval Bomber 3s. Nice. 
Oh, they're invading us in northern France. Oh, crap. That's okay. Oh, actually took Calais, huh? You guys are over here. I'm waiting for them to finish their stuff over there. Grab even more extraction. Because it actually should help out quite a bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, it helped us with our fuel. Or steel, I should really say. Wow, that looks so much better now. Uh, I don't mind trading for at least one more here. That's fine. That's better. That's actually quite a bit better. You guys looking pretty good. Come over here. Oh, they got a port. That's not good. Ooh, what are we missing? Are we missing, like, armored cars or something? Yep, four armored cars. Three. Good. Toad anti-air. Even more. Do we really need that many armored cars? Holy crap. Uh, uh, if it keeps going down, I won't really be alarmed. Yeah, it keeps going down. That's good. Nice. Sink their destroyers. Sink their god dang pizzas and garbage ships. As you can tell, I really don't like the Brits right now. <laughs> How did they, what they did to my, my my ships? Never again. With the one carrier we're at. Oh yeah, torpedo reveal chance. Ooh, let's go Lancer. Let's penetrate. I like to penetrate me a little, a little bit more. Oh yeah, definitely do that. That will be very good for us. Nice, nice. Obviously, we're not going to win every air battle, air to sea. But hey, we're doing an okay job, I would say. Cruiser sub goes bye-bye. Now, I'm sure the Brits have quite a few ships. Quite a bit of manpower. Quite a few divisions. And oh my goodness, that is a big old fleet. <sighs> Sudan is about to die. Nice, this will definitely help us out. Get even more for now. Yeah, since we do have it, I will use it immediately. I was thinking about doing better, more sub stuff right now, but we're going to wait. Did you learn anything yet? Hunter Killer. Torpedo. You're really not the right guy for this. Do we have anyone else? Sort of, but... Oh, actually, this guy's level 1, though. Ooh. And he's a caustic personality, so... Uh. So far, I think we're looking okay. Now, these guys got to die over here too, but whatever. All right, not bad. I guess at this point we better start planning up a naval invasion. Two, three. That would be good. Let time go on. The more we let time go on, the easier it is to just destroy their ships. Hopefully, make a couple more planes ourselves. Attack right there. Should have researched marines, but there's there's just way too much for us to research right now. There you go, cut those guys off. And I'm not exactly sure how many guys we were able to send. I'm going to assume it's only 10, though, so. There's a destroyer. Three destroyers, nice. we got to do a little more on our anti-air as well, so. Is there anywhere on the mainland here that we have enemies to kill off? We've really helped out the Soviets, which is a disappointment, because we're going to kill them off soon enough. Once this war's over, heck, we might just go to war with them now and just deal with them, but nah, that'd be a really, really bad idea. I'm going to get through at least one more focus. Or talk, read through one more focus before we end this episode. Keep seeing more destroyers, which is good, but still, they're only destroyers. Belgium, I hope you can really put down resistance here. I can't ask for state. Or kick from faction. No, we're pretty good right now. We got plenty of manpower. Not bad. Balkan Research Cooperation. Recover Italian territories. Well, we kind of already killed them off. Modern tactics for more naval doctrine stuff would not be bad. Let's go and do that one then. A modern navy requires the development of modern tactics to make the most out of it, but we should not rely only on our navy when we face powerful enemy armies, and for one of the greatest weaknesses of ships is their vulnerability to airstrikes. But that's going to end today's episode. Tomorrow we will begin when we can or will be invading the fascist union of Britain. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will invade the British Isles and smash them to bits. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.